Hello folks and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft Extreme Lethemir. That's right, this is the series where I take on the super hostile map Lethemir, uh, Super Hostile 11 I think it is, but I'm doing it with mods. It's weird, it's crazy. I've made it harder, I've made it easier, I've gone, I don't even know what it is anymore. And I'm just sitting here having done some big home improvements. For one, I've done a ton of mining. Look at this, look at this, look at that. Look at all these things. Oh, yes, there's so much we can do. And I've even spent some of my resources. As you can see, I've, you know, started actually putting a real roof there. And what's that outside? Well, first thing, I invested in a chandelier. This is from Extra Utilities, and it just stops mobs from spawning within 16 blocks. It costs a diamond. It's nice. But look at this. Look at this wall. I'm not going to lie to you. This wall took forever to build. I've literally spent hours playing Lethemir between this episode and the last, and... Sheep, sheep, what are you doing up there? What are you doing up there? Anyways, this wall, this area is lit. I've expanded my farm. As you can see, every single square inch of this is now lit. Every single square meter is lit. And that means no more monsters. No more do I have to fear stepping outside my house. I can work at night. Here's one of my chocobos running around. She is a free range spirit. So let's just, I call her Dharma. I just let her do what she wants because she hurts herself. I've also set up a uh, little bit of, you know, a um, uh, some room for me to start having livestock. It's It'll be good. Um, got some cows, got some chickens. They're making annoying no noises. I'll take care of that problem soon. And, of course, we got the wall. The wall. So, yes, I've obviously been busy. And I don't have a door for the wall yet, so I'm just going to kind of tunnel it out here. I've just been keeping it locked up. I'm going gonna, gonna, I'm gonna to be doing a little bit of adventuring in a bit, and I want to have the door nice and open. Eventually, I think I'm going to put an ethos-style door. For those of you who don't know what that means, it's a piston door. It means we'll have to widen this a little bit and make it taller, but that's okay. Oh, and in case you're wondering, yes, it's about um, 15 stacks of cobblestone that went into this crazy wall. Uh, I had, I still have about 15 more. I almost filled up a uh, a uh, barrel with all the mining I was doing. I was, I was saving all my cobble because I knew I wanted to make a giant wall. And you can see I still have like 14 stacks, so really I have quite a bit. Um, but that's not what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be putting some of this stuff away because while I was out exploring for meteors, oh god, those birds, those ceaseless birds, sorry, the birds just make a lot of noise. Anyways, while I was out exploring for meteors, I actually found a dungeon, walked inside, nearly died, and ran with my tail between my legs. So we're going to take care of that. And I've also run to a few more monsters, got this swell sword, um, but we're carrying some feathers. We're carrying some feathers for a reason because before I head down there, I want to do just a little bit of gearing up, and then we're going to go, and we're going to get ourselves a piece of wool. Uh, because mostly I've just been exploring this area. We're also going to do one thing that I've been saying we're going to do a bunch, and we are going to really start doing it. Paper. Can you see where this is going? Iron. Redstone. Oh, and check out this cool thing from Forestry. So this is like, uh, it's like a project table, but from Forestry. So as I recall, this goes like this. This goes like this compass right if i take the compass out it saves it and so i can make sticks i can make compass I can make, it saves the things that you make the last eight things really a nice thing uh awesome and not really overpowered at all okay so uh right um we would like to take this take the take the paper and just spread it out as i recall it looks something like this yes an empty map and we're going to take one of these that's right we're going to start mapping. So let's stand right in the middle of our house, and I will begin to set the map. And then Oscar and I, we're going to do a little bit of gearing up, and I'll show you what that's like, and then we're going to go to the next dungeon. Let's see here. Oh, yes. Oh, interesting. It put me way over there. Well, that's okay. That's okay, I guess. Uh, we'll start exploring soon. I think I could zoom this map out, too, which would actually probably be good, because this is really, really low level. I don't, probably don't need this. Let's see if we can zoom it out really quick. That's a, a new feature of maps, at least from when I used to play. I was like playing with maps in 1, 2. So let's see here. Uh, I think if I just clear this and then do like this. Whoa. Did I just crash the game? Something's wrong. Okay, I learned a lesson. Don't try to zoom out a map in a forestry project table. Right as I was saying they were cool, it broke. Anyways, uh, let's zoom out this map. Try that again, because that's a little too tight. Yeah, that's getting a little bit better. I feel like that is a little bit more helpful. 
even that's kind of low. Do we have enough paper on hand? We don't. Okay, well, you know what? Can't sit around focusing on the map forever. We'll zoom that out a few more, and we'll probably make a few more. But one thing I really did want to make, and I kind of wanted to show you guys because it's so, it's so ridiculously cool. Let's grab a few of these. I'm really, really tight on feathers, so I, I can't do too many of these. But I do want to have a few in my inventory. Let's uh, go ahead and clear all this out. Check this out. This is super cool. So what I want to do in this upcoming dungeon is take a few of these torch arrows. That's right. I can make arrows that are torch arrows. Here we got four, right? So probably um, just eight of those will be great. So let's go ahead and set those up. And now this way I can actually shoot uh, torches with my bow. I'd also like to bring, oh, probably, let's see, some rope arrows. So let's make a little bit of rope. Nice six pieces of rope. And these will let me do what the grappling hook does, only it'll let me do it, uh, yeah, a couple of these. It'll let me do it with um, with an arrow. Now, it's only one-time use, and once you break it, it's gone, but that's sufficient. And I've been finding a ton of arrows elsewhere, so uh, in dungeon chests, off mob drops, it's really been great in that regard. All right, so what do we need for the dungeon? We need this, 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 don't need this. Well, let's not get these things mixed up. So let's see, uh, we do need a bow. Uh, look at this, Diamond Axe, Efficiency 2. Pretty cool, huh? We've got this Power 1 bow we'll be keeping around. Don't need the arrows in this. Uh, probably do need Cobble, don't need Dirt. Uh, definitely don't want to take our feathers with us. We'll keep the food. Don't really need an axe, don't really need this fence gate. You know, fence gate, what are we going to do with that? Alright, I think I'm all cleaned up. Got plenty of torches, got plenty of arrows, got my brand new shiny sword. My armor's not in the best shape, but it's not in bad shape. I got plenty of food. I got a water bucket. Always essential, I think. Uh, got a bow and arrow. Uh, don't need to take the string with us. Definitely not. Uh, and this uh, bow looks like it should have enough power, but uh, let's just take our trusty grappling hook and that extra bow, just in case. All right. That should be that should be sufficient, I think. I think we're in good shape here. All right. Uh, let me go get Oscar, and I'm going to... Uh, well, I'm going to sleep tonight, too. No sense traveling at night. And I'm going to head towards this dungeon. Um, Oscar and I... Oh, before I go, let me just show you one other thing I'm working on. I've been breeding chocobos. I have some small ones. I have a green one. I have a bunch of them, really. It's actually kind of exciting. Uh, they're, they're great. Um... Uh, I'm still going to take Oscar just because there's really no reason to take the green one. Um, he's not really any faster, and I don't want to spend any leather on anything but... we got here? Oh, little chica bow. See, there's a little, little one hiding in the water. I think there's another one around here, too. Oh, yeah. He's hiding in the water for some reason, too. I guess they just they love the water, you know? They just love the water. Let's see if we can sneak out here. Nope, got to break it. All right, folks. Well, I'll meet you at the dungeon, okay? All right, folks, this is the dungeon I was telling you about. As you can see, it's not much to look at from up here, but I assure you it's quite dangerous inside and I was forced to run away. So let me just, Oscar, okay, Oscar, here's the thing. I don't know if I'm coming back. I gotta tell you, this is a dungeon, this is super hostile. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna light it up and um, you can form your own like little chocobo society, right? They're gonna find you, they're gonna see you wearing that sweet saddle and saddlebags. Uh, and they're gonna be like, you are my choco god. Look at all this stuff. You know what, you can hold this. Uh, I think maybe you could even, you know what I was thinking? This is like a vertical dungeon, so we probably don't need this rope arrow. So let's just go ahead and do something we're going to hugely regret and leave that here for now. Um, I do think we'll need that, and let's make sure we got the bow. Great. Okay. Uh, and then maybe just one or two more. Ah, and uh, that's right. So I actually, originally water was flowing in here, and I dammed it up and kind of tu tunneled into the wall so that I could sort of follow down. There isn't uh, too much down here to start, um, but you'll see in a second that things get very hairy. As we go down to this dungeon, I'm sure there's wool down here. I'm sure this is difficult. Oh, boy. So there's not too much in here that I'm interested in. Um, yeah, so things may get a little bit hairy here, folks. But let's uh, start by pulling out our torch arrows and uh, lighting things up so we can see down there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, I hit something. Dang it. I don't have a lot of these arrows. Okay, let's do this. Let's just try and get it. <gasps> oh, God. Why? What's happening? Why am I blind? Oh, God, there's a there's a gold name? 
Okay, let's just let's just stay calm. We're actually kind of safe here. We're actually surprisingly safe. Wow, wow. I I I feel like Vex must have set up those glitches so you can fall off really easily. But that monster... Well, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, super hostile. I, I hope you got what you paid for. Because... I don't even know what to say. I was dead before it even started. I could have tried to make a run for it. I'm, I've got enough armor. I wasn't taking that much damage. And then that crazy blindness monster came, and all I could do was hide and hope. It's game over, man. Okay, folks. So, I am here. This is not a deleted world, obviously. This is Lethemir right before I started recording that episode. It's been a few hours... And uh, I sort of uh, had to calm down because I was pretty upset with what happened there. And I'm wondering if maybe I've actually made this too hard. Now, that's crazy because I've added in mods that should make things simpler. For example, a build like this would probably be pretty challenging to do in pure vanilla. It's also probably one of my favorite builds of Minecraft ever. I think I figured out, by the way, how Vex did what he did. I think that he's put string all along the edges of that. Um... Because I fell, like I got, I, it's almost like I got sucked off as I creeped up close, right? And that's just not right. So let's go in and get this world to load. Anyways, so I'm, I'm sad. I definitely don't want to restart this world. And I keep a backup, not because I'm trying to beat super hardcore, but because I'm afraid that a mod crashing might corrupt the map. So I have these backups. Ha and and, and I, I would happily keep playing this because I have sincerely enjoyed this project, project. And I actually can't wait to do some more of this breeding because there's some pretty amazing chocobos. And... This mod combination is really weird, and it's been fun to play because it's so bare bones, it really makes you think differently about how to do what you would normally consider to be builds in Minecraft, right? So uh, here's my question. Do you think that I should stop playing the series, or start it over from scratch? Uh, I did die. This world should be deleted. I only kept the backup because of potential for mod, bu mod bugs. Do you think I should keep going? Do you think uh, maybe I should restart and perhaps add more mods to make it easier? Like I could, if I regenerated the world from scratch, I could make another a different pass. I can't do it with this map, but I could add Tinker's Construct in, for example. Uh, if I wanted to really nerf it, I could add Darkcraft. <laughs> but um, I definitely need to do something. Uh, I could also just, I, if I had to start over from scratch, I think I wouldn't play, to be honest. And maybe that's what you guys want. Maybe people don't want this. That's fine. But I would love to get a little bit of guidance from you guys on what you'd like to see and what you think would be good. I think if I if I do continue with this mod pack, I need to pull that Atomic Strikers mod. I can't tell you how many times those things have come up out of nowhere and almost completely aced me. And I can't <laughs> I can't deal with it. And I it, it, the, some of them can be so strong that they're really I, I I faced one in a test world that you couldn't kill even if you were wearing ten. Uh, you, even if you were wearing full armor, because he would take away your armor. Like, I don't even understand how you beat that. I have, I'm obviously not good enough. So, I really appreciate it if any of you watching would leave a comment and tell me what you'd like to see more of. If you'd like to see more of me building in this world and exploring, I'm obviously going to have to make myself stronger and maybe pull that uh, Infernal Mobs mod if I'm going to make any progress, because that was ridiculous. I had no chance at all. Between Vex's already fiendish degree of complexity to his maps and his architecture, and those mods, mobs which can be just un, un, like unbelievably strong, Right, and the fact that uh, this was a, a map I think designed with one four in mind. This is before the skeletons got hugely buffed. So there's just so many of them, and they're they're just deadly. I, I obviously things got to change. So if you leave a comment and tell me what you'd like to see, uh, I will try to make that happen. If you leave a thumbs up, or like a like or something like that, I will take that as a yes. If you leave a comment saying oh, I don't like this or you leave a, a, a dislike, I'll take that as a no. Um, I could keep going with this. I could just go back to doing more Resonant Rise every week and do a little bit more of that, especially given that it's it's launched in a public mod pack now. That could be exciting. Um, but I would love for you guys to tell me. Could you tell me? Because I would like to know what you guys would like to see. I'm enjoying this, and I have great plans, but uh, I ultimately am doing this because it's different, and I think it'd be fun 
to show everybody. So uh, go ahead and uh, if you can, leave a comment. If not, I understand. Uh, and I hope that uh, I will, no matter what, I will do an episode explaining what the plan is. So thanks for joining me, folks. And uh, I will see you next time.